Hi, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome in. A Carolina Moonbeam here. Uh, getting ready to do the mid-June to the end uh, love and relationship reading. It's just like time is a flying. Um, so much is going on in the cosmos. Uh, to name a couple, uh, we got Mercury retrograde happening. I think it's the 19th, 17th, 19th, um, anyway, Mercury retrograde. Uh, make sure that you're speaking clearly to people that they actually heard what you said. Also, heads up, make sure that you are reading your uh, emails and texts from people fully um, because Mercury retrograde. <laughs> check and double check your equipment. All right, and also uh, uh, we have um, 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 new moon in Cancer. New moon in Cancer. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, and then we have the eclipse. Oh. So yeah, we've got a lot going on, a lot of planetary cosmos uh, influences happening. Uh, exciting times, just uh, really uh, pushing us uh, through to uh, do our work and, and get things done and move things around and uh, shake, rattle, and roll. It's what it feels like, shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, roller coaster ride, um, just yeah, a lot of things. So anyway, um, I just want to let you know, I have to do a couple of announcements after I said all that. I'm going to um, uh, do an extended read, which you can hit down in, in the uh, description box. The link is down there and it'll take you right over to me uh, for the extended, where I will get more information. And then also, um, I am on Wissio now, so you just hit, there's a link down there also for Wissio, and it's just a, uh, some services that I'm offering there for like rapid fire questions, yes or no, and uh, some other questions, some other reading uh, things that I, I'm giving a cut and a break for if you want to check that out. All right, my darling, so let's just get into this, uh, first of all, and uh, uh, thank you so much. I mean, I'm just, uh, all of a sudden I got, uh stopped right there okay so I need to stop and pay attention to the uh, energy because that literally stopped me dead in my track right there so okay anyway so hit the likes uh, subscribe and share for me okay so what I said about being stopped in your in your track that is, that is here. Something coming that's gonna stop you in your track. Uh, there might be somebody that's just gonna, you know, a serious head turner. <laughs> somebody that's just drop dead gorgeous. Uh, uh, something's gonna happen that's gonna stop you in your track. You might come up against a wall. Uh, you might be backed up against a wall. You might be on your way to moving forward and then there's a wall. You can't see what's around the corner. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see where this goes. I'm gonna pull the, the wisdom of the tarot, uh, wisdom of the oracle here. Whoo. serendipity this talks about somebody stopping you dead in your track right place right time luck regeneration I just got this for the um, Capricorn regeneration Wow, so serendipity, regeneration, oh my lord. Really? Okay, I'm going to take it because cards have been flying. 
Okay, buy the book Soulmates and Fork in the Road. Buy the book. So it's like you're on your way, you know, you've, you've come out of this really uh, rough situation, all right? And, and you're doing everything, you're doing everything the way you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Soulmates. And then you, you, uh, this is absolutely the way I see this. Okay. You went through a really rough time. You, you came out of maybe a really uh, rough uh, a situation. Maybe you came out of a relationship, a marriage or something, got divorced, something, something uh, that a dark night of the soul, something that really took you down. Okay. And so now you are, you are, here's that card, dark night of the soul. Something took you down. So you're like, you know, you've learned some serious lessons. You're, you're walking the line. You're, you're doing, you're following the rules. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. And then, and then out of the blue, just doing what you're supposed to do. The serendipitous moment stops you dead in your tracks. Okay. Cause I heard that stopping you dead, dead in your track, just stopping you. And all of a sudden you're faced with this uh, this person, this serendipitous moment, and you got soulmate. Okay? Which then leads you to a fork in the road. <sighs> fork in the road. Uh, this fork in the road also could have came before this uh, dark night of the soul. Okay, the uh, fork in the road could have uh, helped take you to that dark night because you, you wouldn't choose for yourself. And so, bam, it came in and chose for you, right? Um, but I'm going to keep it where it is. Alrighty, and we're going to go from there. We're going to see what's up because this is really awesome. Okay, so right now I'm going to pull a card from Sweet Josephine's deck and um, see what Sweet Josephine has to say here. My precious Josephine, thank you so much for being in this room with me and helping me navigate this message for our beautiful Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, June, mid-June, messages for, for them, their highest good. I keep seeing this blue angel. Let's see if it comes out. All right, my darling, what do we got? Air guardian, shift your perspective. You are air, Aquarius. It's like this is your card. Uh, it's like the hangman, shift your, uh, uh, this is you. You're in your reading. Look at the crown that she's wearing. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna read that right now. We're gonna read about that and see what sweet Josephine is moving towards here. Let's see if my take on these cards, see how they go. Air Guardian, darlings, Air Guardian. Okay, we got Water Garden, okay. Air Guardian, shift your perspective. Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. It's like I just uh, uh, had that reading with Capricorn and it was, some of it was about um, you reflect, what you're reflecting out into your environment is what's coming back to you. So this is kind of the same, um, the same message here. So, but we're going to read. The air guardian represents the angels of the air element. 
Traditionally, air is all about thoughts, thinking, and everything that's happening in the mind. Yes, it's all about the, the space that we have in our mind and, and um, how we use that space sometimes. We get all trapped in there. Sometimes we're, we're manipulated within that space by other people. Uh, so these angel, uh, so these angels can help you to overcome any thoughts that have come back to haunt you from the past and to see the world more clearly. So the past is, is this rejuvenation here. There's, uh, you know, when we're, when we're coming up out of that miry, mucky, burnt, blah, we're thinking about regrets that we have from, from, you know, our actions and things that went down, okay, during the burn, okay? And so we get stuck in those, stuck in our head about those things, all right? Um, they are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations as this could be standing between you and greatness. Whoa. When this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about your way of thinking. You are being guided to recognize that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. You see, because when we're in when we're in our head, we create these illusions, okay, of the way they are when they're actually not that way at all. Okay. Uh so Sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perceptions can be wrong. If you are being challenged to feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at this moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing, focusing on has a lot to do with that reality. That's the reflection. Wow. You are being guided to open your eyes and your mind. Go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Do you get that? Everything is energy. You see the world a certain way, that, that's energy that you're putting out into the world. And guess what? That energy comes back to you. If you see the world as abundant, abundant, do you understand? Uh, it, it's all energy, my darling. Uh, opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will, but they will only open up for you if you're ready to do the internal work to support them. Yeah, a lot of work going down right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, my loves, we're gonna get into this. Let's find out how this is moving. Man, oh man. Sweet Josephine. She has that, that way about her. She's a very fun, loving being, very uh, soul, but she'll, she'll put you to it, you know? I mean, she'll put the screws to you. Because she loves you and she wants you to have the ultimate experience. She wants you to get through the lessons because there's these wonderful opportunities waiting for you. Like this serendipitous moment. Serendipitous moment. Serendipity. I just like saying the word. Serendipity. Serendipitous. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm not supposed to be... Uh, shuffling anymore they put the hammer down on me here we go all right oh jeez queen of cups right off the bat water energy the death and rebirth there's that death and rebirth with that regeneration card three of pentacles working on a foundation working on something wow my goodness gracious aquarius Okay, we're having two come out. We got Justice and the Fool. Three majors right now. Death and Rebirth, Justice, 
and the full. Wow. So, you know, you're in your own uh, uh, reading here on the, with this full. Scorpio and Libra. Hangman. <laughs> water I feel water so that's Pisces but I mean seriously that's a lot of a lot of arcanas here king of cups now king of cups ace of wands oh wait a minute card flipped over nine of swords Okay, so here you are, my darling. Here you are, rebuilding. Letting go, working on a, a, a foundation, a good foundation, a solid foundation for yourself. This other person is uh, bringing in a certain amount of clarity and justice and helping you to get out of the, of the head, the thoughts. Um, justice has got a big old sword, okay? And justice not only uh, balances the karm, the karmic energies out, but also cut. The way she does it is she cuts things out, okay, and then things come in because we have the scales. If the scale once one scale's tipped a little too far, stuff's gonna get cut out of it, right? Because I'm feeling something's getting cut out. This person that's coming in is bringing a balance. Also a like justice, like a uh, uh, karmic debt paid. Um, and then here you are on their row, the fool. So, you know, they're bringing this balance. They're coming in, they're jumping in, they're taking the risk. They're seeing things from a different perspective. Uh, they're seeing the situation from a different perspective. Um, they're going to really help change your view. Uh, you're really in in uh, tapped in, tapped in spiritually, tapped in to the transformation that's going on in your life, and and you're you're all about it. You're all about that. There's a lot of emotions that are running through you. Definitely looking back with some regrets and feeling that uh, that uh, you know that that I want to say the rawness, the rawness, and a, a bit a bit a little bit of haunting going on there um okay and and so that's the queen of cups i mean you, you probably have psychic abilities abilities uh, you could have psychic gifts you could have spiritual gifts spiritual healing um uh you could be working on that you could be building i feel like you're working on that you're 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 uh getting in touch with that that spiritual, that the deep spirituality within you, and you really want that. I feel like you really want those gifts. You want that the the things from the past to die. You really want that because you really want to um, to come into your own, come into who you really are. That old old soul, that forever soul. Okay. Um, and your, your true self. And this person's coming in and they're helping with balance. They're giving you a different perspective that's gonna like, you're gonna go, oh, yeah, wow, okay. And, and um, there's this, it feels like there's this beautiful, um, beautiful love. We've got the King of Cups here. So we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. So this is like a very deep love, a very deep love with the both of you together. Um, you're more of the person that wears your feelings, you know, your heart on your sleeve. This other person is is more of, um, doesn't get shook as much as you would. Um, you know, little bit in the water, but they're sitting above it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like they're not gonna they're not gonna express the way you express okay but it doesn't mean that they don't feel it it doesn't mean that they don't feel it they could be a libra you could be dealing with another aquarius you could be dealing with a scorpio um and then we've got the ace of wands which is all about hey this is a yes 
Ace of Wands is about fire. Uh, um, the beginning um, spark the ideas. Okay. And then we have the Nine of Swords, which is talking about that nightmare energy. And I really feel like that it has something to do with um, this person is giving you new ideas to help move you out of that that haunting place of that nightmare, that old place you were, okay? They're really bringing the both of you, the both of you, this whole, um, this whole meeting, chance meeting that's been, comes from the universe, is going to take you to a place of where there's, there's a choice that has to be made. Okay, so that's what my gut is telling me. Let's just pull some cards. I'm gonna ask what this regeneration is. A lot of battling, a lot of fighting, a lot of competition. There's there's so much this card could be. Okay, it's it's like arguing to me. It's like um, it's just a lot of fighting, fighting for something, fighting for yourself. Okay, buy the book. Buy you're going by the book now because before you won't you weren't. We got judgment, judgment reverse. Okay, uh, and that's what this feels like to me. It feels like you weren't going by the book before. Something was off there. And now, now, you know, you learned your lesson in that area and you're going by the book now. Okay, what is this serendipity? Wow. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant and we've got the Hermit. And this Hermit did come out reverse, okay? Um... But what, what I'm feeling about this serendipity is the signs. There's the, the you paying attention to signs. You paying attention to signs and tapping into that higher self. Okay, look at we got. Oh, excuse me. Um, I just I I just I really feel like this hermit card is supposed to be this way. Okay, but even if it's this way. So the serendipitous moment is about um, something non-traditional because the the Hierophant is represents uh, marriage, tradition, religion, uh, teaching. You know the the priest. You know the pope. The you know the person up there. That, um, but we have this hermit reverse. So maybe there's a possibility. That you could meet this person at a church or some place, a temple, some place that is non-traditional in its teachings, spiritual teachings. Okay, some kind of sign, signs. I, I hear signs uh, there. I hear it. Uh, we got Virgo and Taurus there. Um, okay, what's his soulmate? <laughs> Two of Cups. Two of Cups, of course, coming together, coming together. Two of Cups, soulmate. I mean, look at these two cards, you guys. Look at them. So precious, right? Of course, that's what it is. It's about love. Uh, fork in the road. What's this fork in the road? Fork in the road is about home. Um, uh, moving, maybe moving together, moving in together, uh, coming home, uh, being out in the cold, not having a home. Uh, it feels like there has to be some kind of blending, some kind of, uh, balance here. So this fork in the road could be about you moving, moving out of your home, moving, in, moving with this person or something. You know, we just, uh, have to see how this is going to go. I want to know what this nine of swords is though. It's killing me. Five of Swords, a lot of manipulation. Um, so you see how this is here? You see how this is? We've got the the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords talks about, uh, you know, the nightmare. Okay, which, where's the nightmare? Where do we have the nightmare when we're sleeping at night and there's a bad, really bad dream, right? It's all in our head. So this, this is the head. The nightmare, the manipulation. Here we got the, the five. The five of swords talks about, you know, picking up what's left 
and you know getting out of the situation taking what's left no winner here no winner here so it's like picking up and taking I'm, I'm gonna take what I got and I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge kind of feeling I, I gotta get out of here uh, could be about burying the hatchet with the person that you were in the nightmare with um, you, there could have been a lot of drama. You could have been with somebody previously that had a lot of, they were very dramatic. They, they caused a lot of drama, you know. Uh, sometimes I, I, I do call this king of cup, cups when it's reversed. I call them the drama king, you know. Um, so, you know, that could be something that's there. But it feels like this brand new star just absolutely, uh, is a message to you this 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 person this the soulmate that comes in is a message to you to finally say you know what i'm not fighting over you know the house the dog the cat the the boat i'm going to take what i got and i'm going to get the heck out of here you know i'm just going to take what take what's left and see ya it's not worth the battle for me it's not worth the fight for me so this is this is so beautiful setting yourself free um wow Okay, you guys, what I'm going to do is go over to the extended and I'm going to ask about these different major arcana and, and, and kind of get a maybe, you know, more information here and uh, yeah, and go from there. Okay, so I'll see you guys over there. The link is, the link is below. The link is below. <laughs> All right, y'all. See you there.